Little little pissed she's got ten years on you? Little pissed? Hmm? Little pissed the skin's a little more supple? Hmm? Maybe a little angry? Yeah. It's got to sting a little bit, doesn't it? Hmm. Doesn't have to go and uh, maybe get those uh, injections to cover up a few lines on the face? Oh, boy. Huh? Huh? Is that maybe uh, a little more aggravating than just uh, walking uh, in uh, on the closet and seeing that? Hmm? I don't see any dots on her ass where the lipo rod went in. I don't see any dots on her thighs or sides or belly where, where a lipo rod went in. And perhaps you should have left a little more in your ass. Personal opinion. Shut up. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna sit over here. What's the matter? I'm I'm really uncomfortable. Good. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna sit here while some bitch is lying, lying on these emails that she's sending out to people. It's crap. Make have me look like a, an ass. I, 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 I did uh, one thing that I confess was, uh, you know, not the right thing to do. I'll even be honest as far as that's concerned, because that's what I do. I'm honest with this uh, crap. It was cheating. It was a bad thing to do. The right thing would have been when I saw that I, maybe I was feeling like I was uh, uncomfortable in, in the relationship. It was getting a little too deep in. Uh, I had just gotten out of a relationship. Perhaps I should have been honest, forthright, gone up to you and discussed this. But I, I went about it completely wrong, like a douchey guy. Uh, but that, I don't think, justifies the kookiness in which you handled this situation. Not mature for a girl of 35. Okay, that was a lie. She's 30. All right. <laughs> Just... <sighs> so, where were we? Uh, she went to clean out of stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. Found uh, skanky girl's clothes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> skanky girl. Uh, anyway, he admitted, uh, he admitted he was keeping her stuff there, and the nights I wasn't over, she was for those three weeks. Yep. When I caught her in the closet, she admitted that it wasn't the first time they had had sex. It was ongoing for three weeks prior. I had some intuitive feelings... Something wasn't right, and I confronted him. He blamed it on the fact that he was stressed and taking Xanax because of his contract. Negotiations. His contract negotiations. Which, by the way, the only true thing in this email. <laughs> All right, I'll give her that. I did say that. <laughs> hey, leave me alone. I'm sleepy. <laughs> Um, and, well, I continue to believe him. And then she throws this in. Mm -hmm. And this really is just an insult. And BTW, by the way, there were no ashes of this girl's grandfather in her bags. I went through it all. Please, your grandfather lived in Canada, for God's sake. That's just part of his bit. Part of his bit? This effing bitch is denying the fact fact that this girl's grandfather's ashes were there all the kids uh, i guess were given uh, a, a certain amount of these ashes it was in a little pouch it wasn't in some kind of urn or anything in that bag and dummy decides she's not going to go through the pockets to see if there's important documentation which there was birth certificates you know important stuff what uh I, I got you a beer. What? You, no, I can't drink. Oh, yes, can. No, not at this hour. Oh, yes, you can. No. <laughs> yes, you Doesn't can. go well with my Xanax. <laughs> 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 um, yeah. So she's saying that there were no ashes. There absolutely were ashes. That the, this girl's supposed to, you know, take somewhere that I guess meant something and uh, disperse them. Now they're in my fire pit. 
because dummy didn't go through the friggin' uh, uh, pockets, or did and and uh, was being uh, vindictive and threw him in in the fire pit and burned him anyway. Girl, scorn girl plus fire equals you know you're talking some left eye crap here. Left eye did that, burnt the guy's house down. There were ashes in there. There were of her grandfather. You burnt them. You put them in, in uh, the fire pit and took away her opportunity to, uh, you know, have that moment where she gets to disperse the ashes of a, a loved one uh, because you're a, a, a jealous uh, dummy. Ugh. Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah, I'll get to that. No ashes. And what does that have to do with anything? Where he's from. So what? If you're from somewhere, you're not allowed to friggin' have your ashes sprinkled in another country? That's the lamest excuse I ever heard. And the laptop ended up with no wires, no attachment, no nothing. Because, again, she decided, you know, not to check, not to pull things out of bags, not to... You know, maybe if you went through the pockets, you'd have seen a birth certificate and not burned that knowing that people need these things, especially when they're trying to travel uh, between two countries. Good job, dummy. You just made it so she had to stay here longer so I could have sex with her more. <laughs> Jackass. She'd have been gone. <laughs> oh. Anyways, on to the future and over with the past. I really appreciate the email. Have a great day. Jill. So these are the uh, emails she's sending out. Uh